Hey guys, so it is so weird for me to be filming a video at night, but I thought that this week it would be great to talk to you guys about how I like to study. So instead of kind of talking at you guys, I'm actually gonna show you how I'm studying. Um, I'm currently studying for my midterm that I have on Monday for my linguistics class. It's Saturday night and I've been studying since like Tuesday, Wednesday-ish. Um, but I'm gonna go through what I like to do in preparation for an exam and I'm trying to Get used to studying more just generally rather than only when I have an exam So I've been doing that um, kind of gradually building up to a more intense level of studying um, as we approach the final or the midterm um, So I've been kind of doing that and I'll show you guys what I'm doing I've just been going through my notes so far. These are the notes that I took in class. The teacher actually prints these out, these little packets out and gives them to us, which is pretty generous. I usually don't have teachers who do that. And then we just write in little whatever you want to add in there. So I've been reviewing that and these are pretty much identical to what's in the textbook. Lately, I've been getting a lot of people saying that they're applying to linguistics majors, um, and that's really exciting. So here's a little sneak peek into what you guys can expect if you choose to attend UCLA. Um, this is a really great tool because we have to learn the IPA symbols and the corresponding sounds. Um, so there is this MRI chart, so you can click on any sound, for example, D. That's and it shows you um, what like parts of the mouth and the throat are involved in producing that sound as well as tells you the sound. It's kind of creepy so I <laughs> don't really watch this unless I'm really confused about what a sound is. I like to just watch this periodically which is like almost the same thing but it's just a person. Um, going through the sounds he's really helpful uh i've watched this video a lot the only benefit of this is that if your teacher is kind of quizzing you on like where the sound is being produced and like which articulators are involved then it's kind of useful if you know that but also if you're familiar with ipa chart just in general like you can probably guess where it is all right, so Sunday night now, I have been working on filling out this blank IPA chart. If you don't know what the IPA is, it's the International Phonetic Alphabet. It is used by linguists to describe sounds um, from all over the world, not just in English. Um, but here are some of the symbols that I've been working on. And then I also added diacritics, ejectives, clicks, and implosives, which are other types of sounds that don't belong on this chart. I was going to use this um, for my midterm because we are allowed to have one page of notes front and back but then i decided just to use this one which is already typed out and has everything on it for me because it also has the vowel chart and there's not that much space on this piece of paper um i wrote a few extra things on the back i just have some more general concepts that i don't want to forget about um so i am allowed to use this on the midterm you may be wondering why i am studying so hard if i'm allowed a page of notes well i just want to be prepared i only want to reference this if i absolutely need to um there's only 40 minutes i don't know how long it's gonna be so it's good to just know everything plus on top of that this is directly related to what i want to do so i want to be very solid in my understanding of this information Boujou. Hey guys, switching gears a little bit. So now I'm going to study for my Psych 85 Intro to Cognitive Science final, or midterm, excuse me, I keep saying final. Um, midterm, I am currently going through my lecture notes. This is from the first week, and I am creating a set on Quizlet with the primary vocab terms. And I'm listening to jazz music as well because I find it really relaxing and I need instrumental music when I study because I can't listen to anything with words. It's so distracting. Even the jazz music is slightly distracting, so I have the volume pretty low. I don't even know if you guys can hear it. These are also the slides that um, my teacher uploaded. This is what we have in class. I don't usually print out these notes because this is not enough room to take notes for me. So as I've been preparing the study guide and reviewing my notes, I realized that there are some concepts in my notes that I didn't cover very thoroughly and that I need clarification on. Luckily, UCLA has this thing called Bruincast. Um, I think it's only for classes that are like larger than 100 students, but basically like all the lectures get recorded. If we take that information away from its context, 
you can actually see that they're the same. And I know that even with this animation, it looks like it's like, oh, I'm morphing it or something, I'm tricking you. You can convince yourself of it um, when you get it. So the idea is that we're employing our sense of color constancy. I think she was talking about illusions in this case, but it's really convenient to be able to go back and reference literally the exact lecture that I heard the first time around and hear it in my professor's own words without having to go to office hours. On Thursday, I had a few hours in between classes to do some last minute cramming before my Psych 85 midterm, so I just worked on completing the study guide that my teacher provided for me and reviewing all the key concepts. Hey guys, it's Thursday night. I had my linguistics midterm on Monday and I had my discussion section for that class today and my TA graded it really quickly so I actually got the graded test back which I'm gonna go over with you guys in a minute. And then I also had my Psych 85 Intro to Cognitive Science midterm today so I wanna talk a little bit about how that went as well. There were like a lot of trick questions on the exam which I don't appreciate. Like, can you just test us on what you taught in the class and on a basic understanding of the material, please? So there were trick questions and then there, there were 25 multiple choice questions and then five short answer questions and she did give us that study guide to guide our studying, but the short answer questions, of course, you know how you're always like studying and you're like, oh, I bet this won't, I bet this question won't be on the test. And then it's like the first question on the test and you're just like, that happened to me like three times. So great. I mean, we'll have to see how it turns out. I don't think I did terrible, but on a lighter note, I did get the Ling midterm back. I got 46 and a half out of 50, which equates to a 93, so I'm very happy about that. Um, I only got one wrong on the first page. I don't even really understand this question, so I'm probably going to go to office hours and ask her like what this means. Second page, um, there were just like describing sounds, like how we characterize sounds and things like that. Um, as you can see, I got these two, I don't know how well you can see actually, I got these two tense and lax things completely reversed. I thought I understood it. Clearly I didn't, so I'll ask about that. This part, I got 100%, so I'm really excited because I was kind of nervous about this. This is like that MRI thing that I was showing you guys, where you show like where the sound is made in the mouth and in the throat. And then... Uh, last page was just transcription, so um, she had a sentence in IPA, Hingu, she had a sentence in IPA that we transcribed into English, and then there was a sentence in English that she wanted us to transcribe into IPA, and I only got like one point marked off there. Um, I admit I'm not very familiar with the vowels and that is kind of where I lost points, but other than that, it was successful, so this isn't to brag about my grades or anything, this is just to show you guys that the study methods that I have been using have been effective and I hope it helps you and kind of gives you a better idea of what studying in the UC setting is like. If you enjoyed, please let me know. If you want me to make more of these in the future, let me know. I don't know how you guys will feel about this. I feel like it was kind of boring personally because you're just like watching me on a computer or like writing things, but let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear from you guys. Like and subscribe as always and I will see you next Saturday at 3 p.m. Bye!